Hello, in this brief video I'd like to show you how you can schedule workspaces and data transformation tasks with FME Server. So here I'm logging into the FME Server web admin interface and then I'm going to click on the schedules tab. Here I can define a new schedule and I can give it a name, a category, a name, and a description if I like. I can also set it to be disabled by default or make it enabled and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to choose the workspace which does the actual transformations. In here I'll pick the samples repository and I'll pick one of the workspaces in there. The workspace uh, uh, updates the published parameters in this window and so these are defined in the workspace and I can come in here and I can specify whatever options I would like. Just like so. And the great thing about the published parameters is they can be reused uh, with each schedule. With each schedule you can have a different set of published parameters. So it doesn't have to be one schedule per workspace. Down here you also have the option to set job priority. By default it will be this uh, job will be submitted with a priority of 100, which is the lowest priority. One is the highest priority. It will be processed above any other job. So maybe we'll go for 10. In addition here, you can put in some different directives such as output format tag, which will be, which is a mechanism for allowing you to specify which uh, engine or engine set of engines will process this request. So some people like to reserve one engine for doing scheduled tasks and that might be uh, something you do. Now, uh, to learn how to do that, you can go to FMEpedia, and there's some documentation on there for, for how to set up what we call DRA, which is really just choosing which engines will process which jobs. Uh, and that's what you do for setting that up. You click OK, and then you get to pick a date interval, minutes or hours. Maybe I'll do it every... Maybe I'll do it every seven days. I want to do so. The kind of things you can schedule might be uh, an irregular import, a cleanup, a uh, output to an FTP site, or, or or out to a web page. Could be any kind of job that you need to automate. And then, if you want it to run immediately, check that on, and you can say when you want it to end. You can do cron if you like. Click OK, and starts immediately, and it will run every seven days. Uh, making it very easy to automate any sort of data transformation task you used to have to uh, start manually. Thanks for your time.